Hello, nonfiction and STEM fans. This is Kirsten Larson, author of the true story, Woodwire Wings, Emma, Lily, and Todd invents an airplane. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about a couple of STEM stories. Both of these um, are completely fictional, and yet uh, they show the reader how the process of invention and scientific investigation work. So the first one is called The Princess, and the Petri Dish. This is a book by um, Fee Sue Fleece with pictures by Petros Bulabasis. Um, sorry, mangling the last name. Um, this is from Albert Whitman. And um, this is kind of a, reminds me of a fairy tale. Uh, you know, it could have been the princess and the pea, but instead it's the P princess and the Petri Dish. Um, and what our princess does, um, Princess Pippa, she does not like peas and she decides she's going to do something about it through a little bit of genetic modification. Uh, so I'll just read you the opening. Um, one evening during dinner time, well, actually, this isn't the opening. This is a little way in. But one evening during dinner time, the queen said, eat your peas. But Pippa thought they tasted dull. Can I just skip them, please? When Pippa scooped them with her fork and mother looked away, she slipped them in her pocket. No, I won't eat peas today. And then she comes up with a solution. She's going to crossbreed them with some cocoa beans and come out with a chocolate pea. So um, this is a fun book to talk with young readers about how um, science and invention, we find problems and then we find solutions to those problems. Um, sometimes we get them on the first crack, sometimes we don't, but this would be a great book um, for use in the classroom. And it's fun to read because it's told in rhyme. So Sue Fleece, The Princess and the Petri Dish, loosely based on The Princess and the Pea. Um, and the other book I want to talk about today is from Pat Zietlow Mil Miller, um, illustrated by Daniel Wiseman, My Brother, the Duck. Um, and this book is, I think, super cool because it actually uses a lot of scientific method language. So, for example, you can see even on the end pages, uh, the um, main character has a hypothesis that her brother is the duck. Um, I'm Stella Wells, fledgling scientist, but um bum there's lots of duck language. Um, scientists notice things and so do I, like the fact that my baby brother might be a duck. So um, she goes on, she makes observations, just like a scientist. She has a hypothesis and then she tries to prove it with evidence. So when my parents return from the hospital holding something wrapped in a blanket, I took notes. The thing was scrawny. It was yellow. Its nose was flat and broad. It looked like a duck. But that was only a hypothesis. To prove it, I'd need evidence. So she goes step by step through proving uh, her brother is a duck. So it's a, it's a fun twist on the classic uh, new baby sibling tale. Um, this is from Chronicle Books. And again, a fun way to introduce uh, your young readers or your students to the scientific method. My Brother the Duck from Pat Zietlow Miller.